hello, hello, lovely humans of Earth. Carl fans, Mandy fans, all around the world. Let's come together, watch this Dynamite episode, apparently. Series 2, episode 18. Why Dynamite? I have no idea, but everybody keeps talking about this is a really good one. So I'm excited. <laughs> um, especially after the Claire when everybody's like, ah, oh, you know, Claire. Well, everybody has opinions on Claire. I'm, I'm, I'm fine with her, but it's definitely a different dynamic. But everyone's like, oh, the next one's awesome. So... I'm, I'm, I'm pumped. I'm excited. Apparently, this is the last episode for them of 2002. So then there is a best of or the snippet thingy, the greatest hits. I don't know, whatever. We don't do those because there's no point because it's all stuff I heard. And then we start with 2003. So exciting. Ah, blast from the past. Anyway, Rusty Dog makes these. Thank you very much. Amazing stuff. I love them. And um, I don't know. I'm just giddy. I'm happy. I'm just... Ah, <sighs> good things are happening. I'm a brunette again. Just whatever that means. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just happy. Because why not? Just things are flowing. It's all good. I kind of liked before when I was kind of right on the money with maybe the week they were at. And now they just kind of jumped to Christmas. Oh, oh, oh. And I was I wanted to watch the fight, the Ricky Gervais fight. Uh, what did I just say? <laughs> uh oops the ricky gervais fight <laughs> uh but it's like an hour long I, I wanted to react to it and stuff but a whole hour of just two people hitting each other two comedians hitting each other i don't know so i'm probably just gonna watch like a highlight of it or skim through it and see how more or less what it was like because ain't nobody got time for that like i mean i wasn't expecting it to last the whole hour i was expecting to at least like a highlights clip or something but no everybody just uploads the whole fight so, I probably won't be reacting to that is my point. So if you look for it, sorry. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think it's worth it. But I kind of want to see what happens. Anyway, that's enough out of me. Oh, that's enough out of me. Ladies and gentlemen, let's start. I hope you're all well. I hope you're all happy. I hope everything is where it needs to be. And let's hit play. This is going to be very Christmassy, right? Because it's December 21st. Christmas is like right there. They can smell the cookies and the nutmeg. I've never had nutmeg or eggnog. No, nutmeg, eggnog. Oh my God, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I've been having a week where I can't speak. I've been mixing up words and syllables and just, it, it's just, yeah. It, it's going to require a little extra effort today to understand me. I'll do my best to try to, you know, <laughs> catch me when I mess up but apparently it ain't going great <laughs> anyway I've never tried eggnog and it sounds disgusting thank you please and thank you Ditting all his mom and everyone yeah, a little Look bit of cussing in there oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, Carl's in a bad mood already he's been in about you... three minutes and he's in a bad mood getting stressed if you can't hack it leave what's the matter with you I love that no, I'm just saying it's been I was meant to enjoy last Saturday off and I didn't why not why is that our fault? Because you weren't here. Just because, I don't know, but... <laughs> Are you not in the Christmas spirit? Why didn't you enjoy I last Christmas. Saturday? What, what did you I do? Went, you I went, right, I went all the way back up north again, right? Because, uh, it was Suzanne's dad's birthday, right? I was busy last week, didn't have time to get him a present or anything. Didn't have time to get him a present. So I got to Euston <laughs> Station. <laughs> Look but, so I got so what? So I got to Euston Station. Oh. But a card for him, which was a Christmas card, so he wasn't happy because he was saying it's my birthday and I said, well, I won't be seeing you again. So I've Two got a joint one. card. There you go. And then we went out. Did you get him a present? Well, no, because we went out on Saturday night for something to eat at this pub that he likes. It's a nice steak and onion mm. rings, mm. right? Lovely. So Not to the point, but I had a friend in, and when I was in elementary school, that I, there was this kid. We weren't friends, friends, like we weren't close, but I knew that his birthday was on Christmas. And he always hated that because they always got him just one gift. And he was like, that sucks. Every other kid gets a birthday gift and a Christmas gift. Or, you know, there's those families that go all out and get a bunch of gifts. And poor baby only got one. Then he got screwed over. <laughs> That's messed up. Like, at least, I don't know. And, and, and obviously every birthday is Christmas themed. And he didn't really, he didn't like that. He didn't feel special enough especially like as a kid that sucks so, nice steak and onion mm -hmm. rings right Lovely. so it should be happy anyway yeah but what well, you paid for it 
No, no. But he should have been happy anyway. Suzanne pay for that, cos it is her dad, uh-huh. right, okay. not mine. So I said, all right, what, what, what can I do? I said to her. So she said, just buy a few drinks or something. Anyway, I didn't get around to getting drinks. Cause <laughs> I can't dessert. believe it. Didn't no, get around right, to getting the drinks. Right, so right. I said, right, I'll pay for the cab. Right? Oh, what a lovely Christmas gift that is. <laughs> yeah, £2.50. I paid, no, it in, was like in three, three, three quid back. So oh. six quid you spent on him? Well, no, I spent more, you see, that's what he said. He Plus said, the oh, card. He said, he said, oh, you've spent on me six quid for my birthday. I said, no, I haven't, because I gave the taxi driver a tip. I'm a little bit worried about his attitude as well. Right? You know, I mean, that is a stingy present, but you don't go, you don't well, say. That's, I mean, let's be honest, that's the worst Christmas gift ever, because, I mean, you're pretty bad, like we discussed in the past, but at least you spend a bit of money. Yeah. It's just thoughtless. Yeah. This is nothing. I know. I'm giving him any time. I mean, I oh, would. Oh, personal story emerging. <laughs> I can't control it. Uh, okay, it was my birthday. Oh my god, a month ago, more or less. Um, and when it was my best friend, like my bestie, like the guy that I'm just really close with, when it was his birthday back in April, I did a lot. Okay. <sighs> Got him a great gift. He was expecting and stuff. And it's funny because when I gave it to him, I wrapped it up. It was all nice. I, I put effort in. I like effort on birthdays, right? And the first thing he said when he, well, the second thing he said when he opened it because he liked it was, you're not expecting like all this on your birthday, right? And maybe it's my fault that I said, no, it's okay. I'm not expecting anything. But, well, something, something, right? But no, I, I said that. Okay. And then fast forward to my birthday. <laughs> um, Nothing. Just like a, a text. It, it reminded me of the office, like the uh, the U.S. office, when, when Dwight and Jim <laughs> have to decorate for Kelly's birthday where it's like the banner, it's a statement, it's your birthday. <laughs> it was basically a message like that, like... Happy birthday. Like, just nothing. No emoji. No, <laughs> nothing, right? I was like, okay. And I had to work that day. I had to go to the theater. But every once in a while, who comes and visits me at the theater, if he's around town, right? If he's, like, around the area. I thought, okay, surely he'll come today. Nope. Okay. Then I saw him a couple days later, and I was like... Then I thought, maybe we can go to dinner, because I invited him to dinner for his birthday as well. Like, I, I, I was good, right? And... <laughs> Just at least hang out with me. Nothing. And then I saw him later. Not even like, I don't know, a lollipop or a pack of gum. All right, it's fine. Whatever. That's fine. I accept you. You're that way. All good. But then I saw him like last week and he was going on and on about how it was his um, his nephew's birthday. And he bought him a gift and he loved the like how it felt to buy him a gift and have the the kid open the presents i'm like dude you didn't even buy me like a freaking lollipop nothing i didn't say anything obviously because i'm not freaking suzanne's dad because you don't talk about that kind of stuff but i was like dude like you don't have to rub it in my face that you and he was going on about like how much he spent and stuff i was like wow that's a lot (laughs) and he gave a kid he gave the kid a toy and the kid broke it in 10 minutes (laughs) and he was like ah but it's fine because i felt good i was like hmm you suck. <laughs> it's all good. It, it already passed and stuff. Still love him. It's fine. But it's it's not even the fact that he didn't nothing. I I, that's, I really, ser- sincerely, I know him. I know how he is. That's what I expected from him, right? That's fine. It's your birthday. Sure. But then don't go on and on and on about it a couple weeks later <laughs> about the exact same situation with your, just no, okay? That was messed up. But what else? He's he's on thinner ice than he was before. <laughs> but we're still good. No, I knew, I, we're still tight. At least you spend a bit of money. Yeah, it's just thoughtless. Yeah. this is nothing. I know. Giving him any time. I mean, I would. And I knew. And I knew my my demographic. They loved it. Oh, my yeah, family. You, yeah, the they couldn't believe their luck. <laughs> you know. Well, a tenner. You spent a tenner on him. Well, the cab fare was six quid. But, but, but the thing is, he doesn't. It's not. A, I don't think he's saying that. I think it's the fact that this is like 
you know, frittering away well, either their life. He would, have, he would have loved to, I'm sure he would have been appreciative of a lovely ten pound gift that you cared about and bought. A book he probably likes fly fitting, doesn't he, by J. R. Hartley. Mm -hmm. If you'd have bought that, he'd have gone, That's what I was looking for. Well. Or E the what weather. I was looking for, <laughs> Carl. E bloody hell, Carl, <laughs> you little bald twat. That's just what I wanted. <laughs> so, Why does he talk like right, that? So just calm just down. Think, so what have you got planned for uh, for Christmas? Is this what I mean have you are you spent is you are you doing the same oh, Christmas Carl, season? Excellent. You've paid me milk bill for this week. <laughs> that were re nice. I'm spent this year. So what, have you planned anything for Suzanne, or are you just? Yeah, gonna... I'm taking her out Christmas Day for something to eat. Well, right. don't. Okay. Does she know that? Is that? Was that? She's, she's working today, so she. Do, she. You know. So right. Okay. So what Christmas gift have you got? I say I'm taking her out. What you haven't got? You haven't got a present. No, because we spent a lot. Don't forget that's half yours, though. You're going to be. You're not going to just be sitting there watching. No, no, no. It. Okay, I get that, but to me, that's like enough, right? Any kind of any amount of effort, like. I feel I feel petty getting mad at my friend. I'm i never I was never mad, but it bothered me again that he was talking about the other instance later. That's the part that bothered me because it's fine. I feel so petty and small saying I got him a gift. And he didn't. That's not it. It's just that there was absolutely no freaking effort. If he would have just grabbed any piece of paper, a receipt from when he bought himself a pack of gum, and you know wrote your great friend smiley face that was like that was something right it was it i just wanted this amount of thought or effort nope <laughs> just the text that you driest text ever not even an emoji not even an emoji i don't uh, just uh. <laughs> but dinner like that to me that it's like oh no that's not a present to me that's that's fine like that's perfectly fine i don't i don't feel like that's not great there you go no i'm hungry but i spent all of you're gonna be eating as well that's half yours so you've got she's got look at nothing to unwrap it's it looks like a cat who's but been wait, hit she's got <laughs> nothing to unwrap there's nothing. She's going to hand something over to you because I've met the woman. She will. She'll hand something over. You'll open it. You'll love it. I, I might get something today. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you shouldn't take me to begrudgingly persuade oh, you to do it. God. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. So. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, we're gonna. I'm gonna try and stick in some uh, Christmas songs. We're not playing all Christmas songs, but I've brought in a couple. Of, so this is Christmas, John Lennon, yeah, uh, The River, Joni Mitchell, yeah. Fairy Town, New York, one of the best Christmas songs oh. ever. Oh, well, what about a bit of Pretenders? That's a good one. Two thousand miles. Oh, Please uh, don't do Pretenders. Mariah Carey's. Two thousand miles. I've right. seen so many memes of since it's close to like we're in October. It's close to Halloween that <laughs> everybody needs to hurry up and like. Just focus on on Halloween, basically, because Mariah Carey is dethawing as we speak. <laughs> I hate that song, and it's a good song. I just hate it because of how much I freaking heard of it. Just every year, everywhere, every movie, every mall, every everything, I got tired of it. But it's it's a good song. It's sweet, and her vocals are amazing and stuff. But oh, <laughs> it's funny how like she became the queen. Of the Christmas songs. XFM 1. Pretenders, 2,000 miles on XFM 104.9. This sort of Christmas edition, we're not here next week, are we? No. Carl is, aren't you? Well, you are in a way. I was doing the best of, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. Is it the best of? Yeah. Brilliant. Have you what? been putting it together? Not yet. Okay. Oh, well, I'll, do it. I'll do it today. Carl's been falling so behind with everything. It, and I'll sort it out. It's not for me All to say, is it? Of. Yeah, what? it is the best stuff. Well, maybe people could email in with their, uh, their the highlights of the year for them. I'm trying to think what they were. I mean, mostly... It'd be, mostly, Carl. it'd be mostly Carl, wouldn't mostly it? Mostly Carl, gibberish from Carl. Oh, it'd be, I, I think it'd be an awful lot of educating Ricky from Carl. Mm. Mm. Well, ricky.gervais we at mm. xfm.co.uk if you've got any thoughts and uh, stuff you'd like to hear again. I Is there any, anything you'd like to hear of Carl saying something stupid, me and Steve laughing or slapping him? Yeah. That's basically the competition, yeah. isn't it? Well, there's a couple of instances where I tried to kiss him, I think, and you encouraged me. Yeah. Those are uh, some highlights for me. Or just, uh, I wish I'd have videoed that. Those yeah, are fun. So you mentioned educating Ricky. Uh, we've only got, do you know, we normally have like three instalments. Mm. Yeah. We've only got two today. Why? Why? Just, um... Sad times. Well, you clearly weren't busy Christmas shopping, so what were you, what's the <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Well, we, like I say every week, it's a bit of a struggle finding stuff that I can teach you. But, but at the same time, what we have got, we've started the feature, I teased MTV with it, right? Uh, so I thought I'd best start doing it before they get someone like Zane Lowe presenting it or something. Yeah. So, do we need them? Do we need them? Yeah. You should explain do we need them for those that, that don't like the show. Well, it's, uh, it's sort of education, 
right. uh, about animals and stuff, and if we need oh, them. So, cool. like, uh, David Attenborough once said, uh, you can get rid of people off the earth and it would carry on, there's no problems, but, you know, get rid of a monkey and <laughs> you could have problems on your hands. So, <laughs> Is gonna... that a direct quote from Attenborough's current <laughs> autobiography? Like, yeah. like I think so, yeah. So, you know what's fun? I feel like he could totally just fix the whole not having anything for educated Ricky by subscribing to, like, Nat Geo, like, the magazines or, or some kind of science magazine or something. Those used to be, what, once a week or once a month? Whatever. Either way, I mean, I feel like he'd have enough for this. Just a subscription. I don't know how much a magazine would have cost at this time, but, I mean, I feel like he could have done that, right? Or, you know, just he has no problem shoplifting, apparently. Uh, just go to, like, your local dentist or whatever, and if there's an interesting one, just pocket it. Obviously, I'm not condoning theft. I'm. This is just purely jokes. So yeah. what I've done today, right? He always starts having things with, uh, right, so then. What? Yeah. So, yeah. 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 Right. <laughs> but he, and he always ends things, and you've got yourself all, quite, all sorts of problems. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that's that. That's yeah. done. That's, that's coming up. Enjoy that. Enjoy so that. I've spoke to a woman about um, jellyfish. Oh, yeah, because I know you're not a fan. Not a fan of them, so we'll be speaking to Women or jellyfish? This is a woman. <laughs> I <Sorry about> <laughs> <jellyfish>. <laughs> 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 So we'll be sorting that out before he didn't three o'clock. We'll find out if we need them. <laughs> 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 that one to bed. He's great, and he's great. And then we've got a Christmas edition of Rockbusters, which oh. I found out yesterday. Go on. Channel 4 have ripped it off. Go on. It's on their uh, Teletext thing. That's what outrageous. We? Yeah, on their Teletext page, someone said. <laughs> what are they doing then? Like, Wait, rock, what? Yeah, on but how does that have Rockbusters? Their teletext page, someone said. <laughs> what are they doing then? Like Rockbusters, they're copying the format. Are you sure they're not copying Blockbusters? No, no, it's, it's, uh, someone said it's a cryptic clue of a band and that, and initials, and you work it out. That is despicable. I mean, right. we should investigate this. So they've, they've fundamentally ripped off the idea of being out, allowed to do a cryptic clue to guess a band. Yeah, but the, the sort of clever cryptic clues. <laughs> oh, well, they, 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 they certainly you off then, haven't they? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying. Hey, so. I should just point out, because it's Christmas time, we've had an email from Dickie Anderson. Whee! Oh, Dickers. Uh, yeah, R.A. is, uh, well, he's, 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 I suppose he's a long-time listener. Yeah. Um, and he emails us most, uh, most weeks. Uh, Ricky, if, as I suspect, I'm your only listener, I wouldn't bother with your show today, as I've got to attend some family Christmas nonsense at Auntie Marion's house. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> That's from Great. Dickie Anderson, and, uh, he's, he's good, because considering he hates the show and, uh, everything we stand for, he does, he does take the time to email every week. That we counts, that counts to advertisers. Yeah. I think we've got a lot like him. Mm. Mm. As we've mm. also had a lovely Christmas card here from Alexandra, right? Who's, uh, wishes lo she loves the show, she loves you, Carl, and she's enclosed some biscuits, biscuits for you to save you a bit of money, because she knows <laughs> you goes out and get your, your own biscuits, then we've no, got some... Cool. There you go. Present solved for Suzanne. Just random biscuits that could be poison, but nobody knows. Um... Oh, I had something to say and I lost it. I lost it! No way. Is it gone? It's gone. What happened? I had it. Never mind. A little packet of Carry on. Well, why don't you wrap them up and you can give them to your yeah. girlfriend? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Exactly. Those actually look good. Don and Blitzen from the About a Boy soundtrack by Badly Drawn Boy. Christmas so theme there. Christmas yeah. theme there. You spotted the Christmas theme? Yeah. Carl's not really in festive mood, but, uh... I can't imagine Christmas is your time of year, is it, Carl? Well, I'm not sure any time of the year is, really. I liked it when I was about... I think when I was about seven, I enjoyed it. Mm. Was it's that the like, one? Was that the year, the big you year get, for you? You get loads of stuff you don't have to worry about anyone else, but once you've, like, got a job... What did you get when you... When, when were you doing your paper round? How old were you then? I was about, uh, 13, 14. Well, that was you then, your own man, weren't you? I had, you to, had to, uh, yeah, I had to buy stuff. Oh. But you're still not you're quite a selfish time. man, aren't you? I didn't realise this. No, 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 it's just that Christmas. And that's coming from him, Look Carl. Who's Your dad always said, oh, all right, steady on. That's a Christmas morning was for, like, you know, for me. So he used to stay in bed. 
Mm. So he, he never That's did brilliant. That's a great thing to say, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Christmas morning's for you. Run wild. Do what you want. Just yeah, don't so, follow so me. I'm going to Honolulu for two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Dad, it's Christmas. Do I have to do anything? No. So my mum used to get up, because she used to like to see my face light up, you know, when, when I opened my presents. That's cute. And then, uh... <laughs> to give <the> fireworks. <laughs> and then, uh... <laughs> then I'd have to go to my bedroom from about <laughs> six o'clock onwards, because, like, my mum and dad were into having big Christmas parties, and I wasn't, like, old enough to go. Right. So they'd say, right, you know, you've had your fun there, you go up to your bedroom, stay in there. <laughs> and, really? Yeah, I remember one year, right, I got, got a train set, that's what I wanted. Yeah. Right? Good. It's brilliant. <laughs> Uh, playing with it all day. I thought, I don't mind about the party, I'm happy staying up here, playing with this. Brother comes in, he's had a few, right, he's going, yeah, give us a go on your How old is he? He's, he's a bit older than me, so he, he might have been like, uh, let's see. Well, let, let him be 18. About, yeah, probably about 18, 19. Let him be 18. I was, well, I had a train set, so, I don't know, about... 14. <laughs> something like that. Yeah. Right, so, uh, so I'm playing on that, loving it and stuff. And then he comes in and goes, oh, gives a go. He turns the transformer up to, like, 14. He went really fast for about five seconds, broke it, and then he went back downstairs. Wow. So Typical Christmas, I haven't even got behavior. to the uh, Conservative government with, uh, British Rail. Satire. Oh, my God, dude. First of all, why the hell do they sell you a train set that has a, 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 a freaking like, speed switch thing. I can't think of the word, but, like, has a limit that will break it? <laughs> why Why do I have that option to make it go so fast it'll break in 10 seconds? What's the point? I don't get it. Do not sell it to me with that limit. Just lower the limit so I can go as fast as I want and it won't break. I don't get it. Also, oh, man. Oh, I have two brothers, right? And the oldest one wasn't wasn't really an issue but the middle child which is older than me but he's the middle child made my life a living freaking hell right on on all the wrestling reactions and stuff i've done i've i always tell he used to, he used to love wrestling and he used to just throw me around and smash me in the stuff playing wwf in that moment became wwe i hated it but he was also a little freaking terror in a lot of things, right? And he just loved making me miserable, like, for years. He was my bully for years. I never had a bully at school. My bully was at home. That sucked. Um, and I remember there was one time, kind of maybe similar to this story, I had a stuffed animal I freaking loved, right? I took that thing everywhere. And it was huge, too. And I don't remember why he was mad at me. or I don't think he was mad at me. I think he was just being, you know, a bully. And he was threatening to throw it out the window. We lived on the second floor. And he was throwing, threatening to throw it out the window or, or rip it open or something. And I got so scared because I love that thing. I was able to catch it and get it, you know, back from him. And I ran running to my mom like, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. Hide this stuffed animal because he's going to murder it, you know. Mom, my mom's like, instead of, well, that's a whole other issue. But instead of saying, you know, middle child, freaking behave. She's like, okay, I'll hide your stuffed animal whatever i'm not here to judge her parenting skills that's that's for another time anyway she put it in the oven that's like the she just that's what she thought like okay he won't find it there he doesn't cook she put it in the oven and um me and him were running around the house and he was throwing me about wrestling whatever <sighs> typical sibling things apparently and then my mom forgot that my stuffed animal was in the oven and when she went to cook dinner it was one of those ovens where you just it, it has the automatic clicking thing that turns it on she set my <laughs> stuffed animal on fire. And we obviously smelt it <laughs> because it smelled awful. I was so mad. <laughs> I was mad at both of them. I was mad at her for sending... Like, it, it just burned a little bit. It was salvageable, right? I kept it. But I was extremely mad at her because she set my thingy on fire. And I was mad at my brother because he got me so desperate I let my mom put him in the oven. <laughs> oh, man. I'm so glad that we moved past that stupid sibling phase. And we can... He still has some silly sibling stuff, but we get along now. Thanks. 
I know. Sutton, no, Rick, well, I just saw that then. Sutton, that was me. I, I, in got Sutton, like me. I never yeah, forgot it, clearly. With uh, British Rail. Satire, like, Sutton, no, Rick, well. I just saw that then. Sutton, satire. It's there's saying, any satirical it's, it's, shows this in it, doesn't work, it doesn't work in any way, because there's, 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 the analogy falls down no, apart from there being a train. Think it through, though. British Rail was trains. Yeah. And the government broke the trains in many ways. Well, they didn't break them, like, not officially breaking them, but they kind no, of. No, it, yeah, it does work. It's perfect. <laughs> oh, I'm very pleased with that. And I can't, and, and no one's asked him to be on Have I Got News For You. <laughs> it's weird, isn't it? Because it, it is strange that, with, <laughs> yeah. when you've got a satirical mind that that's, that's as quick as that. Yeah. All and right. it's broke your little train set. So, what did you do? I just like watch telly and had some sausages. <laughs> I bet you were happy with that, though, weren't okay. you? Okay. Uh, it's a bit annoying, though, isn't it, when your main present of the year's been broke? Yep. And, and did, then, it, uh, did it ever get it fixed? No, that was it. That was it. Put away. I'm intrigued why your parents wouldn't let you come and join in the festive fun. Was because it like really debauched down there? Was it like eggnog <sighs> everywhere? Well, no, like... but I mean, that's fair enough. Six seems a little bit early, but I just think, you know, if you're a kid, you, you, you know, he had his fun, put him to bed, put him to bed at eight, maybe. <laughs> and he you think so on Christmas Day? I thought that was a day for family. Well, not if there's a party going on. And well, I... don't have the party on the Christmas Day. <laughs> well, that's, that's, that's another option. Yeah. yeah. Your parents are weird, aren't they? A strange breed. Well, I think that was the year, right? I, uh, <laughs> you're talking about buying presents and stuff. I think I did treat my mum to that. I didn't buy my dad anything. I think that was, like, when I got a bit older, he used to get me dad something, because he wasn't that bothered anyway. No. Mm -hmm. okay. So, uh, got me mum. Uh, <laughs> there was a cheap shop, right? <laughs> of course. Uh, Thank well, God he's for a that. kid. What called Snips. <laughs> So I went in there and I thought, let's see what I can get her. And remember uh, Victoria Plum? I don't think <gasps> so. Yes! It's like a, a fairy <coughs> character. I used to have one of those books. Oh my God, I forgot about that. Wow, I forgot about that. Right, I don't think so. Well, Sorry, it's like I just... a, a fairy character. Right. Right. I mean, mum's into gnomes <laughs> and stuff, right? So I thought, right. She must be pleased with you, then. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, Victoria <laughs> Plum. I was thinking, is that one of the neighbours? Um, is it? Is it like a brandy liqueur? Do you liqueur? remember Victoria Plum? Victoria Plum. Victoria Plum, yeah. It's like a little fictional sort of character, right? Okay. okay. So, I remember uh, her. So I saw it. I thought, yeah, she'll love that. Right. So I did my paper round, <laughs> saved up for two weeks, right? Oh. Got that sorted, went to Snips. Bought the uh, Victoria Plum. Next day, I'm in, I'm in town with her, right? So I think, ah, oh, I know what I'll do. I said, come, come in here a minute, right? Uh, so we go in and we're looking around and I tested her, right? I went, look at that there. That's all right, isn't it? And she goes, oh, it's bloody awful. Oh, Carl. <laughs> oh, Carl. I just, I, I, oh, oh God. So yeah. then Christmas Day comes. I said, oh. don't bother opening it. She said, no, no, why? I said, oh, no, why well, don't you still give it to her? So, well, it's too late. I'd already bought it. Oh, come on. So she opened it and <laughs> I was like, <sighs> and she said, oh, that's nice. I said, why are you saying that? I said, the other day, so it's bloody awful. She said, oh, no, I thought you were pointing at something else. Oh, <laughs> no. So that's why I don't get anyone anything anymore. <laughs> Traumatizing Gold stuff. Rush. Excuse me, sorry. Let you down. I'm, I'm actually quite affected by Carl's heartbreaking Victoria Plum scenario. Just the fact that, like that, that eagerness. He wants to make sure it's a great present. He's saved up his paper round. He thinks it's like a gnome, but modern. I'm worried that you're using it as an excuse now. And that's why you're not buying anyone any gifts, because you've had your fingers burned once. I mean, you were six, seven years old. To be fair... No, you weren't. You were about 13, weren't you? I was going to say... Yeah, I, oh, I must, right. have been, must have been, yeah, 11 or 12 then. All right. Yeah, so I'd, I'd saved up. I oh, know, I'm not, I'm not using it as a thing, it's just that... What do you get your mum this year? Um, I've sent them some money so they can uh, get a passport. <laughs> what do you mean? Where are, are they? Are they trapped no, somewhere? <laughs> well, they're, they're, in, they're in a holding bay somewhere yeah. in Dover. Yeah, what do you mean? Who's a truck driver? Who's going to slip on a truck? What year. do you mean? So they can buy a passport. What do they do? Sell it when they were no, a bit, they're, they're a bit <laughs> down in their luck. No, they, they haven't got that much money, right? They've never been abroad, and the mate said they might, uh tack them next year, and they said, oh, we haven't got a passport, you so I thought... You haven't got to buy a passport, have you? Isn't you that got... your God-given right as an Englishman? No, you've got to pay for them. They're 30 quid each, so you better add to, otherwise they're conning me. Right. <laughs> they said so you said them 60 quid. get born with a passport. I have no idea. You said them 60 quid in an envelope, have you? Well, check. Right. Yeah. I love that. It, 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 it'll, uh, 
Have you watching Teddy and uh, France to come on and they go, oh, what do you think of that? She goes, it looks bloody awful. We <laughs> yeah, go, oh, don't, don't open it. <laughs> don't open it. Don't open it. So oh. you've not you've not paid for a holiday for them. You 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 no, you've just sorted out the well. It's it's the better prize, isn't it? Because they can't go anywhere <laughs> without it. Well, the passport <laughs> keeps on giving. Yeah, so so ten years, ten there years. That, yeah. that is yeah. So, but no, I never used to. I mean, I can't <laughs> think of other things. I used to get me dad once. Once I started getting him stuff, it used sort of used to be a uh, dressing gown, yeah. and then. But as an extra surprise, he used to put like a cigar in the pocket, so he'd think that was it. Yeah. Then he'd put it on and put his hand in the pocket. Right. Go, and then oh, he'd just this? hit you because he thought you'd nicked it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, dear. So you bought uh, him a jacket with a cigar? That's quite thoughtful. Did you sneak a cigar once when yeah, Christmas? Yeah, well, it was when, that's when they used to have like the big do's, like I say. You know, they were, they were known for it. Like the, f the whole estate used to know that. You know, we were having a party. Yeah. So, uh, so they'd all come round. So they'd all come round and scab food and drink yeah. and that. And God, pocket the, yeah, I can't ordinance. imagine. I cannot imagine how unpleasant that must Awful. have been. Awful. Awful. And you yeah. locked in your bedroom with a broken train set. <laughs> and, <laughs> and looking at Victoria. It happened every Plum, year. <laughs> whatever that was. In the bin. Oh, uh, in the bin, yeah. <laughs> and hear a mum saying, and he got me this. He isn't got it, me this piece shit? of rubbish. You could hear him just throwing it against the yeah. wall and, and laughing. All, and all the neighbours laughing. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and you come down and just be Quite the imagination. Of spit on it. <laughs> yeah. Just loads just of garb on it. Eyes. And all the Polaroids of them just like laughing at yeah, it and pointing. stamping on it. Yeah. All right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> well, so, Calm uh, down. But no, no, I used to get up in the morning and then like they'd still, still sort of all be there asleep on the floor and on the sofa. And oh, like, oh, that's awful. Oh, <laughs> that's terrible. Christmas is surely the one day a year which is a family thing. It's for the kids. They're the ones no, that but are... that was Boxing Day. Well, I know. Oh, that's all right. It's, not <laughs> it's, over. it's over. Yeah. Back on the bo Boxing Day is the 26th. I, I hear Boxing Day all the time. It means nothing to me. I'm actually realizing I'm not exactly sure what it is and why it's called Boxing Day. The only thing that comes to mind is all the boxes left over from the presents, like the empty box. What do you do? Do you guys have a nice day taking it to recycle? Like, I don't, what, I should, I should know this. I don't. All right. All right. You, 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 who's who's going to pay for this? What, me? Yes, Carl. <laughs> You're doing two rounds today. Yeah, what's your paper round supporting the entire family? <laughs> yeah. no, so, so I used to get up and, like, go downstairs, and they'd be asleep, so I'd be mooching about trying to find, like, another present that's still working. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it gets worse so I love worse. the idea that these people from the estate had like <laughs> squashed his presents. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, so I found a cigar that had been sort of lit up and then put out, so I thought, oh, I'll have a go at that. Yeah. I went outside and had a go, and that's the last time I smoked. Right. Sort of, I tried it, I thought, I don't like that. I love the fact that he does everything once. Yeah. In yeah. his life. <laughs> it's like, it's a line what is that? Is that? Yeah. In his life. Is that from uh, the Moaning of Life? I don't remember the face paint. I remember him dressed as a clown, but I don't remember the face paint. He looks fabulous, doesn't he? <laughs> it's, a line, it's a line of, I've done everything once. I don't need to do it again. Why not? Oh, dear. You know, I've, I've said in the past once to you, Rick, that my sometimes. grandparents, so I love them dearly, but it's like, for the last 30 years, they've been waiting to die. I know, It's yeah. like they just sort of, it's like, you know, the novelty wore off of life. <laughs> just, life in the 50s. Got kind of bored of it. Life, yeah, in the 40s, it was brilliant. All sat around the old Joanna's, the box <laughs> yeah. fell, singing, they loved that. The 50s, you know, that was great as well, because that was the post-war years. It was, you know, it was a bit tight in the pocket, but it was all right, everyone pulled together. And then the 60s came along, all the crazy music, the let's, funny hair. Let's stay in bed. They, they, exactly, and they basically stayed in bed. And uh, it was one Christmas when um, my, my, my grandmother said to my dad, uh, what do you like for Christmas? What, what do you fancy for Christmas? And uh, this must have been, well, I don't know, 20 years ago? She said, uh, what do you, uh, what do you fancy for Christmas, Ron? And he went, well, you know, I could do with a nice big kind of warm winter overcoat. She said, don't worry about that. She said, don't worry about that, because your father will be dead soon. It's what you can have his. Meaning my granddad. Well, to be honest with you, my father's still waiting. <laughs> Which is good news. It's good news for my grandfather. <laughs> Let's good news for He's freezing. Freezing. Oh, freezing. No. freezing. Oh, he phones out. How is he today? He's yeah. fine. Yeah, okay. okay. Oh, That's freezing. It is very, such a weird a mindset that I think it's that to me is what sums up people from that older generation, the forties and fifties. And it seems to me that you've got that kind of mindset. <clears> it's like you were born in the thirties. And whenever you talk of your childhood, it's like you had like a big I potato to take well, to I, school I, I, and no, a poop I, and a stick. As a Christmas the gift. other thing is, I think that it, 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 that sort of generation, it, it seems that the man is dependent. on on the woman mm. as a total dependent. Oh, absolutely. If, yeah. if she dies, he's done. Yes, he's yes. done for. 
it, okay. it just pine away. If he dies, she's got 30 years of pottering. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, and going yeah. to, like, you know, uh, the, the youth club and the yeah, church. Yeah, I know what you mean, yeah. It, it's sort of like that it's... It, it's sad, it's sad. Of course, it's sad for them, but it's so, not the end of their life. No, sure. And it sort of is the other way around. I, I don't know, know why that is. is. Yeah. It's terrible. That's a little melancholy thought for uh, I know, Christmas I've really time. brought it. You brought it down. You've brought it down. I've brought it down. This isn't <laughs> a nice show at all. This is terrible. Well, We're going to have people really just it. killing themselves. Uh, well, what? Well, I, I didn't really want to make it a Christmassy type show because I don't, I don't really like it. Oh, he's done it again. I love it because there's like this little cackling sound, and it, it since it's all Christmassy, it's just like the chestnuts roasting on an open a fire, or whatevs. But um, that's how it is. I've been informed. Um, so yeah, nothing broke. You guys are good. It's all good. It's just it's ambiance. It's Christmas ambiance. And what show? Because I don't. You don't really like it. Oh, he's done it again. What well, you did Christmas once, didn't like it. No, it's just... Play a record. I'm not, I'm not religious or anything. <laughs> what, are you, what are you? You're not anything. <laughs> <laughs> Teenage Fan Club from the XFM Christmas album, and that's Christmas Eve. Their guitar sounds are just brilliant. They're just always so nice. All right, Carl, do you like that? Do you like Teenage Fan Club? Yeah, yeah, they're good. Right. Carl, I feel like you've never kind of enjoyed the wonder of Christmas. I don't think, I can't ever get the sense, maybe except when you were very, very young. You know, that kind of bright-eyed, you know, thinking of Santa, you know, kind of um, landing on the roof and coming down the chimney and drinking the, the sherry or whatever. Well, I, was, I, like, I like the idea of it, right? Sure. The, the sort of, you know, uh, I used to like, I used to get a couple of annuals every year, you know? Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Totally, yeah. And I was allowed to open one on oh, Christmas Eve. That. Oh, that's brilliant. Um, Just, yeah, so, <laughs> so they could throw it on the fire. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think, I think the, uh, it is well, a quick skim through to <laughs> the words so you get. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think mean, that's a light with cigar off the yeah. cooker. Oh. Well, anyway, listen, um, a good friend of ours, Ross Noble, a comedian, brilliant. Uh, he's okay. given this picture, Carl, which he's got from a magazine. He loves you. He and I have to you. say, I think this. <laughs> I'll just leave it then. <laughs> well, I, oh. I'm, obviously, it's not going to mean much to the listener. Oh, this is something But it is indulgent, currently available. I'm... Well, I think it's in the current edition of Bizarre magazine, so um, you might want to buy is that. It, it's not horrible, have... though, is it? it, it, it there's, so, there's a certain grotesqueness about it. Oh, it's, a, just think it's I... a deformed person, but, isn't it? Well, to a degree, but I think what to it's going to do for Carl is give him, I think, just, I think for you and I, Rick, we're yeah. going to see his face. <laughs> light up. Brighten up, oh. lighten up, like opening a, a wonderful Christmas gift. Oh, you know what? I think I've seen this. Is this the one with the kid with the big head? I'll be honest with you, Carl, it is. Have you seen it already? Yeah. Let me just show it to you again so you can kind of... Have a look. Like it's like I haven't seen it. It's like... <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. We shouldn't be laughing at that. No, but that What's is happening? like the kid who I went to school with. <laughs> <laughs> that is the same. That can't be the same. So do you recognise him? Seriously, that, that, that is the same <laughs> thing he had. Oh, I mean, I have to oh, say, it does look sure. like it's been computer-generated. It's so odd. Yeah. Oh. Wait, though, like, how big does somebody's head have to be for it to be, like, alarming like this? Like, to have those reactions? Because, yeah, I mean... <laughs> head size varies just like everything else. I mean, one one thing that always tripped me out a lot is um, Paul Rudd when he was on Friends as Mike. There's some scenes where he's talking with Phoebe on, on the couch in the cafe, and his head is twice as big as hers. Like, quite literally. It's amazing. And that always shocked me, but I've never heard anybody talk about, oh, that guy has a huge head. So how much bigger than Paul's rods is it? Like, I also have a friend that everyone I know, they, they always make fun of him, right? That basically, his nickname is Big Head. <laughs> Very original. Um... Like, it's often mentioned and stuff. <laughs> like, <laughs> that was a time in his life when he had to, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. If you're listening, I'm sorry, I know you're not, but uh, I love you. <laughs> there was a time in his life where he had to buy a motorcycle, right? And when you have to buy a motorcycle, you have to buy a helmet for the motorcycle. And he got one of the biggest ones they had, and it was really tight. <laughs> And every time he would come over, his face was just... <laughs> you couldn't even see his eyes! <laughs> <laughs> and again, like, it, it was a lot, but it's not something that if you see on the street, you're like, whoa! It, it's something that maybe takes a little time getting to know him, and then just, like, you realize, oh, wait, your head's, like, quite big, right? Like, Sniper's Dream? But it's not... 
he wasn't like he's a guy walking around and looks just like a lollipop. I mean, it's not that noticeable. So I'm just so curious as <laughs> what kind of size are we talking here? Because the, the, the reactions are just like mind blowing. I'm very curious now. <laughs> Because it also has to be very large and, and quite not in proportion with your body. Like, what, your sh to, to be super noticeable, your shoulders have to be, like, extremely narrow. You have to be really thin or something. I don't know. My friend isn't ex ex exactly very thin, so it kind of just, it works out. But I'm just, I'm so curious. <laughs> Oh, I don't. Oh. Computer generated, it's so odd. No. Oh, I don't. Oh. But look at the, the chart's face. I know. Look at his reaction. I... Don't take another photo of me. I'm, I'm not sure this is right. It's not right. It's not right. But I just, I was hoping that that would give you kind of just a little fashion. glimpse of. Uh, We've had a request as well on the, the, the best bits to someone wants to hear you talking about your mates with the big heads. I don't uh, believe it because every time we go there, I get we get some sort of complaint about something. It's about what? Do you? Well, it, that for some reason that always goes from the story with my dad going to Blackpool for <laughs> taking those kids there. And what kids? Believe uh, it. No, no, what? what? No, no, there's people well, that know what we're talking I'll about. I'll tell you when we put a song on. No, well I know what it is. Well, you can't <laughs> just say that. Is it when? Is it okay? Is it when your dad put a kid in the weed? about it as well. But not only did he bring it up, he finished the whole thing. Oh, Carl, you magnificent man. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> oh my god. I don't think that was going to come up if he didn't bring it up. That's amazing. Is it, okay, is it when your dad put a kid in the wheelie bin? Because yeah. he was getting out of hand? Yeah. Yep. So well, no, we can't go through it we're again. Gonna, it's uh, too controversial. No. We're gonna... What's the name? No, well, the thing is, right, you were just saying about what are you about Christmas. That's oh the funny God. thing, right? Because in our house, there's no one who's religious, right? Okay. No. My dad got annoyed when I went to church that day. He was like, what are you doing that for? Of course. I went to see a gig in Liverpool. Remember the band The Christians? Yeah. He thought I'd join some club. Yeah. I said, I've been to see the Christians. He was saying to me, man, what, what's he doing going out with them? Yeah, yeah. And then, um, the other thing is, because I'm not christened or anything, my mum used to say to me, don't tell anyone that, because there's witches and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> just, I want it. I want to go back and see his upbringing. I really, yeah. I just want to go back and see him at seven. One day, one day in the life of Carl, just, age seven. Just to have three just ghosts it. visit him. <laughs> <you know. laughs> And take him back through time. <laughs> but we could go with him. We go. Well, we can meet some of the ghosts. Yeah, so the I just ghosts like the Christmas past. Oh, remember this? That's, <laughs> a ma that's oh. incredible. Because so, so, we just don't. don't so, what? Just she thought. More. So she was visible. She thought maybe someone could take your soul because well, you weren't Christian. It's like uh, <laughs> there's there's cults and that, isn't there? And if they find out you're not christened, then right. So I don't think they care. I don't think a lot yeah. of cults care. Well, but, but what can they not... do if you're if if you're not Christian? I don't, I don't know. What, I just what... said all right because then through that time there must have been a time when. But that hold on, was now a they know. Yeah, but I'm older now, so I'm all right. She used yeah. to worry about me playing out on the street. Oh, she was that. worried about whether you were naive and stupid and easily led. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 good yeah. point. No, you're right now. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, good. Rockbusters. Well, Rockbusters. Rock tell A great segue. Um. Like, I understand saying don't say anything, but I don't feel like that's something that comes up often at all in normal conversation. I, I just, I don't feel like there are many situations where having to talk about that would come up, but all right, all right, whatever. Prizes, Steve. Yeah, yeah we, we have Christmas gifts. This is Christmas <laughs> gifts. I don't know if you'll receive them in time to actually pass them off as gifts. I uh, wonder if I can tell that, um, uh, Ross Noble story. That he told us. I don't know. We'll have to Would discuss it... that when the records play. Okay. All right. Um, okay, so you heard a track from it just then. It's the XFM Christmas album. I think that's been knocking around here in the office for years, hasn't it, Carl? Um, or is it new this year? It's kind of creepy little toy thing. Two years ago, okay. but... <laughs> What's wrong with its eyes? They're not... That thing is not symmetrical. One eye is just, like, floating off. What's happening? <laughs> I hate those kind of dolly things, but that one's that that one like got messed up in the factory or something. 
Jeez, okay. Christmas songs are Christmas, Christmas songs. Christmas Christmas songs. Song. Yeah, it's not bad. It's got bands on there like the Dandy Warhols, The Wet Brothers are on there, Drugstore, Ben and Sebastian, Flaming Lips, all sorts. So we've got that to give away. We've also got this um, Smashing Pumpkins compilation, which we seem, again, we, that seems to be knocking around for weeks. Another one of those 50 years of the greatest hit singles. I don't know, Culture Club's on there, Queen, obviously. I've just Lennon. seen the cult film. Yeah, uh, the, com- the cult film will come back to you shortly. This, I think, is one of the most exciting gifts. If you have a video <laughs> player, and you want to get trim, then surely Big Brother 3 champion Kate Lawler and her cardio combat video, mm. in which I think she uses kind of, I don't know, military <coughs> boxing training. I remember those used to be so popular. There were so many people doing that, and now it's basically influencers on social media. That's, that's what that turned into. I forgot that this was so popular, and now it's just like the fitness... They give horrible advice, and they're all freaking photoshopped and with ten filters on and just lighting, and it's all BS. This was maybe realer, but, um, oh my god, there used to be so many of those. I remember Tybo. Tybo was, like, a huge thing. Every time there was an ad, it was it was for Tybo. <laughs> um, you know what's fun watching this so many years later? It's bringing back so many memories. Even though it's like a different culture, there are things that just spark up stuff from my childhood that I totally forgot about. To get you trim and taut and looking sure. as good as her, then you can get that as well. We've also got uh, a exclusive seven-inch single from the White Stripes, a kind of Christmas single. Is that from them? Yeah, yeah. Well, that must be quite rare. That's probably That's the only thing worth That's right, that is worth something. And um, the current badly drawn boy album, Have You Fed the Fish, which well, that, I that, think that, is slightly that, mediocre. That, that they've gone up, actually. I think that the, the level of... Wait, I'm sorry, I was low. reading. And, folks, if you take a look out of the right side of the plane, you'll see a cloud that looks exactly like badly drawn. Boy. What? Okay. I thought it was going to make sense. Silly me. That, they've gone up, actually. I think that the, the level of prices there has gone up. Not a bad selection, but here is the big movie. And actually, I have to say, this is not a bad one. This no, it's is, not. Uh, again, it's not, not terrible at all. It, quite, c- it could be not worse. It's uh, James Can in the original Rollerball, not the disastrous remake that came out no. recently, but uh, the DVD version of Rollerball. Seven so prizes well. is a lot. So something fairly interesting. That's against, worth winning. Yeah. Right, come on then. Let's do Rockbuster. Well, will we play a song to give people time to get a pen and paper from that? Yeah. Yeah. So we're doing it next. We're doing it yeah. next. Carl <laughs> Pilkington, the man of the moment with his rockbusters coming your way with all those great prizes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, are we uh, yeah. we're doing it now? Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I noticed Heat magazine sort of put a bit of a spanner in the works. Why? Because they were saying, oh, maybe it'll be a Christmas edition of rockbusters. And I'd already sorted them out. I wouldn't worry, Carl. Well, what I've done, I've cleverly tweaked them. To make them Christmassy, oh, so the Christmas bit in it has got nothing to do with, with it whatsoever. But I just thought, <laughs> so you mean yeah. the clues have a Christmas element? Well, yeah, but, 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 but it's nothing to do with the answer. Nothing, yeah, it's nothing to do with the answer, right? So why don't you just ask the normal ones and I'll, I'll ring a bell, I'll yeah. shake some bell, I'll well, go it's ho, the equivalent ho, ho. of that, but in sort of speech. Right? Brilliant. So the first yeah. one, um, cute. Okay. There's a load of letters uh, there asking for advice. Put them on Claire's desk. Oh, and uh, have a good Christmas. (laughs) (laughs) Wow, way to make it Christmassy. I thought he was going to say, like, the letters were to Santa or something. (laughs) Oh, my God. I love him. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. (laughs) <laughs> oh. no, give it give it to us again. <laughs> oh god. Right, so there's a load of letters asking for advice. Put them on Claire's desk. Owen, have a good Christmas. <laughs> Well, he I'm adds it again. People that the Christmas element may not be relevant no, to these got nothing to do with it. I don't want to okay. you know. And the initial letter is F, right? F, okay, I was waiting for that. There's a load of letters there asking for advice. Put them on Claire's desk. Is a band? Um. No, no clue. That's F. All right. Right, the second one. Uh, Ask your mum if you should. 
after you've wrapped the presents. <laughs> <laughs> right, so ask, ask your mum if you should. Ask your mum if you should after you've wrapped the presents. That's, um, hmm. that's S. 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 I thought it was going to be like Permission or something, which was a weird name for a band, but you know, everything's out there, so S. I feel like I can get this one. If I know the band, I feel like I can, I can get there. Ah, I don't know. All right. Okay. And the last one, um, a couple of people were arguing in the supermarket at the fruit and veg counter, but it's busy in there because it's Christmas. <laughs> 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 so that's unnecessary. So that's, that's B. Right? Oh. B. A couple of people arguing. I feel like these are going to be so twisted. Like, I don't have a chance. I don't have a chance. I'm not, I, I, I'd like to try, but I can already tell it's not going to happen. <laughs> oh, God. So, they're the, they're the three. Will I just uh, recap? Yes, please. Yeah. Uh, I have so, no idea. So I, can't even, I don't know what to start thinking. I, well. All right. There's a load of letters there asking for advice. Put them on Claire's desk. Have a good Christmas. Uh, have a good Christmas. <laughs> uh, second one, like ask it. your mum if you should. After you write the present. S. <laughs> and the last one, a couple of people were arguing arguing in the supermarket at the fruit and veg counter. But it's busy in there because it's, it's Christmas. It's busy because it's Christmas. That's a B. Yeah. So they're the three things. It's email only, this one. Uh, please remember that. Ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. No idea. Uh, Ricky.gervais <laughs> at xfm.co.uk. Yeah. Brilliant. Carl so looks happy with them. He yeah, looks really happy with them. So they're All cracking. Right, they're good. Yeah, they're good, please so. for all right. Is right. there going to be more rock, rock busters in the new year? We're not sure. Um, I'm, not, I'm not still, you know, thinking about new ideas mm -hmm. that we can do. Okay. Um, are we starting Ricky Ridiculous today? Have you done? Couldn't be thing? bothered. Couldn't right. be bothered. Couldn't be hard. Look right. forward to Ricky Ridiculous. Well, he's year. worried about. I he wanted didn't to hear that. Asked, and he just stopped because he's yeah, worried because well. he's the producer. Yeah. Well, I've got a set of standard. <laughs> oh dear. Carl, <laughs> <laughs> you have, mate. <laughs> you have. <laughs> True. Well, that's that. We've still got to come. Uh, oh, I'll tell you what. Why don't we have um, a lovely tune, yeah. right? You make the tea. We're opening these biscuits from Alexandra. Yeah. We'll be enjoying that, right? Maybe segue so we can have a nice little, you know, rest. I don't want to talk through it. It'd be rude. And then we're coming back, and as part of like Pilkington, Parkinson, <laughs> and do we need them? Do we need them? <laughs> yeah. Carl has interviewed an expert. On, on jellyfish. jellyfish. Brilliant. So we've got that. Plus, of course, we've got two part, a two part educating Ricky. You've got educating Ricky still to come. With a Christmas uh, theme or not? Um, and we've still got no. things that like means the Pogues, no. John Lennon, Joni Mitchell, just uh, uh, David Bowie. Are you, are you suggesting there's going to be some great music and some great fun music chat? and some fun chat? <laughs> Lovely. Uh, good. We've got our little biscuits, haven't we? Mm. Yeah, good. We're loving it, aren't we? Yeah. Um, I, th I think I can just sum up the station, can't I, Steve, without just like la coming? <laughs> I think you're probably right. Uh, I just came in. I just went to the toilet there and. Uh, um, uh, it's a disabled toilet that's close to it. So, uh, you know, you go there, I had a wee, I thought, oh, the thing doesn't work, didn't flush. I came back and said, oh, the, the toilet doesn't work, doesn't flush. And, uh, Carl went, no, you just stick your hand down and pull the, that wire up at the... <laughs> Think of that. Put your hand in the water. I mean, just when, da water. when, when David Bowie uh, interviewed Zoe, and come on, yeah, uh, there's a toilet not flush. He goes, all right, baby, just stick your hand down, pop the shit down the, uh, down the U-bend. <laughs> and just wipe your hands on your pants. <laughs> Thank, but that's how it goes. Much. It's the clean water. It's if it doesn't flush, it's because it just disconnected to the thing that pulls it up. I mean, nothing wrong with that. I, he's too, he's too posh to know how freaking toilet works. I mean, <laughs> oh. Sums up this station, doesn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. Have you ever done this? This is one of my most embarrassing moments. Is co you know, because sometimes you'll see, you'll see. <laughs> well, I, you'll you'll realise why I was going to say. <laughs> what, <laughs> what happened, Rick? Was I I almost leapt to the end of the story, <laughs> right? But I realised I had to go back a few steps. Yeah. I just right. don't. Have you ever cut? Well, and you stopped. <laughs> it was going to be coming, but it, but you'll understand in a minute when I finish the story okay. that it's not coming in the traditional sense. All oh, right. Because it also it's followed by coming out of. 
Oh, sure. All right. Yeah. So... And not your trousers. <laughs> oh, OK. OK. All right. Okay. So, um, <laughs> now, awkward moment. And I should just, you know, if you're Christmas shopping, maybe you're in a big department store. Hmm. And um, you see the disabled toilet, and you think to yourself, I can nip in there, I can use that, you know, because mm. it's close to hand, because I've got to wander miles for the regular toilets. I went in there once, in the toilet, you know, da -da -da -da, disabled toilet, just snuck in, came out, disabled person. Furious. Yeah, that was, but it's really awkward, because oh. it's like, because it is like it's their sort of private domain, you know, it's like, it's like they're part of an exclusive club, they've not got many perks in life, and that's one of them, and here I was, <laughs> you know, kind of, kind of exploiting it. But they can't, well, yeah, I suppose they can be annoyed. <laughs> but it what just did you do, look did you do affect a limp? I, you know, I normally do. I often <laughs> no. do, I often, I've, I've affected a limp many times. Oh. Um, uh, like for instance, yeah, if I take the lift in a building when it's only one flight of stairs, Right, and they know, and I get up on the first floor, I always affect a limp coming out. <laughs> so that justifies why I haven't come up the stairs. <laughs> like, who is it that I'm scared is going to sort of I say know. something? Yeah. But, uh, oh, dear, that's that's It's the right. same thing as if someone asked me for... You know, it's extremely friggin' fun. The the IT crowd scene came to mind when Roy was used the bathroom. Oh, my God. I think I uploaded a short of that scene recently or something. Something close to that. That was amazing. That whole episode was just amazing. But um, that comes to mind. And I have seen many a time when people in wheelchairs, more specifically, uh, go through those kind of situations. They're often saying, just don't do it. Don't do it. Like, there's no reason they should need to wait for an abled person, a walking person, a walkie, to get out of there. That's kind of messed up. They get mad. They get real mad. I, I don't think I've ever met... Or, or heard or, or read of anyone giving their opinion on that matter that doesn't get mad. So, just don't do it. Directions. I always pretend I'm foreign. I always go, I don't. Um, Why do you do that? I can't, because I'm just terrified of giving them the wrong directions. Well, just now, I don't know. I don't live for I don't like, because I sort of, you know, I feel bad. Because what I used to sort of give directions, because I like giving directions. I like helping people out. But then Clearly. I didn't really know. You, hang, you used to hang around going, you all right? Yeah, we're fine, yeah. Do you want to know where to go? I tend to have a go even if I don't know. Exactly. But it's, I'm always terrified they'll come back and find you and go, you led us yeah. astray. Yeah. So I, now I just affect a foreign accent. <laughs> there, was a fella, there was a fella the other day, about two weeks ago, and I was walking in. Little old woman, little old fella come up to me and said, uh, where's uh, Wimpole Street? So I said, uh, oh, I do know it. So I think it's over there. And then I'm not very good with street names, but I'm good that if you say, oh, there's a boot on it. Right. Do you know what I mean? If there's something near it, I'm, it's like the same with directions when I, when I used to drive a lot. Yeah, or historical facts. I didn't. I don't know like old motorway names. You no. know, like M, <laughs> uh, M this and M that. Mm. I can never remember that. But my dad used to always say, right, there's a horse in the field, turn right, yeah. and stuff like that. Good stuff. Yeah. Um, a horse in the and field. it's the same with this fella. They sort of said, you know, <laughs> where's where's Wimpole Street? And I said, well, what are you after? And he said, I'm after some blood. And He's it was a lot. Yeah, there's doctors around there, aren't they? So I was like, oh. So that didn't help me. What do you mean he was after some blood? He said, oh, I need some blood. He must have had was an he illness. Bleeding? No, Harris he just blood? must have had, needed some new blood or something. He had some illness. And I was like, you know, I could, if he... If, Why if didn't he go to the pet shop and get some parrots? No, but... Like, that... He didn't have fangs and a cape, did he? <laughs> yeah. No, but do you know what I mean? Oh, that, that didn't help me out. But What I... if he just said, well, some pile cream, actually? Can you... You go, oh, we, we want boots then? Yeah, I would, he would have been all right. But I didn't know where to start with that. I need some blood. Yeah, yeah, can you imagine being on the street and somebody asks, like, what, what kind of situation is that? What do you respond to that? That's creepy. I know it's over there. Yeah, it's <laughs> sort of pointed him away. But so he was he was <laughs> losing consciousness. <laughs> you sent him the wrong way. <laughs> He's dragging himself <laughs> along the pavement. Is there blood this way? <laughs> um, oh. The gap she's growing ever deeper. Well, oh. we've got to uh, we've got to do uh, Pilkington, haven't we? Do you want to know? Yeah. Okay, we should explain this, I think. Yes, well, it's please. This, Carl's new idea for yeah. um, a TV show. He wants to do a TV show called Do We Need Him, where he goes <laughs> round and uh, he talks to experts like David Attenborough, da David Bellamy, maybe Lenny Henry doing David Bellamy. Right, yeah. If he can't yeah. get the real one. Um, and uh, he just picks on an animal that he doesn't really like, doesn't think you need him, and an expert will tell him uh, if we do, if this is the first instalment. Let, let me put a song on, right? Now we've got him, and then I can set it up. Okay. And stuff and tell you know because explain it fully. Explain it and that. Let's do a classic. Let's do a big stomp in one of the best Christmas songs. The of all way time, that was we? explained sounds very, very dull. Oh, it's always a home featuring Christian McCall. 
on XFM 104.9, the Christmas edition. Like, if you don't know how ridiculous and how fun Carl is and how just absolutely bananas his ideas are and stuff, and you just hear that description of what's coming next, you're like, that sounds terrible. Like, what are these people doing? It's just the Carlness that's going to make it great, right? But, I mean, how dull did that sound? Next week, we've had loads of just suggestions, Carl, for, for your best bits. It's basically all your best bits. Me and Steve are largely irrelevant in the in the vote. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you, you can compile y- your Yourself. best bits next week, and they'll be loving it. We've we had a request for the the uh, little Chinese fellow in his pants, a horse in the house, cutting your hair on the railway, railway station. If I mean, if you haven't heard those stories, <laughs> they, 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 what does that mean? <laughs> the little Chinese one in your pants? You've got to be tuning in next week to find out what that is. The only thing is, the older uh, horse in the house was in the last best of. Was it? Yeah. Well, that, that doesn't stop... What's his name? If you're one of those people that want <laughs> yeah. to see these clips again, yeah. tune in. Oh, yeah, well, it'll be, right, Christmas. It'll oh, be right right. on the night, 84. Yeah. yeah. Someone kill me. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to live forever. <laughs> well, it's like we said before, who goes to the recording of one of those? There's <laughs> people in the audience. Yeah. Aren't there? That would be great. Actually, yeah. Tickets for it will be right on the night. And they laugh at his jokes, but I mean, I, I don't know I what the jokes I think how many are. takes it, you know, I mean, how <laughs> long it takes to record that. The, the, the show's about three hours, so the recording must be about nine. Have you uh, ever seen Kirsty's home videos on Sky I One? I think so. I think it's so. uh, Do- dogs falling down slides. It's like, yeah, it's like you've yeah. been framed, but falling it's, over in a wedding. It's got audience laughter, but I'm assuming it can't be a real audience. I'm assuming it must be like no, the they just, they, they've, they've lifted. They've laughter. just lifted it from the Flintstones. Yeah, <laughs> they laughed from the Flintstones. Lots of people forget that the Flintstones had an audience. <laughs> if you if you watch the Flintstones, <laughs> there's laughter when Fred does something funny. Yeah, <laughs> the idea of people shipping shipped in. But we were talking to about. A cartoon. I like the idea that some jokes weren't as funny <laughs> as exactly. others. Like the director going, "We'll put a laugh on that," and the producer going, "It's not as funny." I and think well, Dino, should get ra- Dino should get a round of applause every time he comes in. He, everyone loves him. The kids love him. He's well, like, well, we're, we're, we're making it up. Yeah, yeah. and Barney getting disgruntled because his jokes never get disgruntled. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's like wise. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. he's yeah. like, <laughs> 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 Okay, anyway, Carl, here we go. It's an oh. it's exciting feature that will, I, I think, will be picked up by Channel 5. Uh, it's going to be Carl Pilkington, Do We Need Him? <laughs> where Carl goes around checking out animals with uh, top experts, asking whether we need him in the world. Yeah. So... Um, we st- yeah, this is the first one. We won't do it next week, but I'm already sorting out the contact. We will be looking at octopus, because they're a bit weird. Okay. So that's, that's what you've got to look <laughs> forward to in two o- you know. Okay, 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 okay. I'm definitely with him on this. Jellyfish? Weird. Octopus? Very freaking weird. Very freaking... Every time I learn more about an octopus... Every time I'm more convinced that that thing ain't from Earth, man, that's an alien that got dropped off here because that's cr- they're crazy. The way they work is so unlike everything else. It's it's yeah, those little buddies are weird, for sure. And, you know, for Again, if you have an animal that you <clears throat> feel is unnecessary in the world, then email us, and I'm yeah. sure Carl will investigate for you. Well, yeah. the other thing as well, whilst we're on to that. I want to sort of have a bit of research with me. So when I speak to the like the bloke or the woman about the octopus, right? Um, I want like you want response. To the fact. Well, sort of response from listeners, so I can say, well, seventy percent of XFM listeners said we should get rid of them. Sure. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> okay. Like John Snow does on Channel Four when he does all like Political politics stuff. stuff. <laughs> so if you agree with me, just send an email saying yes. And what, so, so, so yes, we should get rid of them. <laughs> watching Frasier and apparently like one of the major producers is Christopher Lloyd. I'm like, Christopher Lloyd? What's he doing producing? And I was like, well, he was on Cheers. He he was in a couple episodes, but that's very weird. And I Googled him and it was a different Christopher Lloyd. Um, so I think that's funny. Okay, thank you for that. Yes, yeah. Or- yes, get rid of him. Because you're, you're, you're always, you're, the house believes always we should get rid of these animals. That's, you're picking animals you want to get rid of. So yes is get rid of them. No is don't get rid of well, them. Well, and not no, it's Noah, because they go on the ark. The ones we keep go on the ark. <laughs> that <laughs> element I'd completely forgotten about, and I think that's a wise move, because <laughs> I don't think that's working. I don't think you've thought through the whole Noah. <laughs> so, and that's just complicating in the show, I think. So, yes, yes, we get rid of them. Noah, they're saved on the ark. Yeah. Right, okay, right, so lovely. here we go then. Jellyfish. So, we, uh, we today, we're looking at jellyfish in Pilkington. <laughs> His face in that is amazing. <laughs> I so wonder what he was explaining there. That's hilarious. 
I feel like he was most likely explaining the size of Susanne's rear end for some reason. I don't know. Comparing it to a hippo. That stuck with me. That I'll never forget that he on freaking <laughs> television that just got so many views worldwide compared his girlfriend of a very long time to the backside of a hippo. That's just amazing. Amazing. Right, I'm, uh, I'm talking to, uh, to Vicky who works in an aquarium in, in Anglesey, isn't it? Yes, it is, yes. Right, brilliant. Uh, today we want to find out if we really need jellyfish. I've got a bit of a problem with them anyway, because <laughs> I've been, I've been <clears throat> stung by one. And I've done a little bit of research into them, so I'll tell you what I know about them. Okay. Uh, you, know, <laughs> you, you might learn some stuff from me. Oh, you never know. And One bet. If I'm talking nonsense, just just tell me. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, right. So first of all, they don't have eyes, do they? No, they don't. Right. No. So I'm right with that. I like uh, her. No lungs. No lungs. They haven't got a heart. No heart. Heartless. And they're made up of like 97 percent water. Yes, they are. So they're pretty useless, really. Well, they have got a nervous system. Um, they are actually about 650 million years old, so they they've evolved and they've outlived the dinosaurs, and they're even older than the sharks, and they can even outfox us um, because NASA scientists have worked with them to try and work out how they um, operate in weightlessness, and they still don't know how they do that. Took them into space actually to figure out how that they did how they did that. Seems like a bit of a waste of money, but yeah. um, do you know Port Maddock? I used to go there a lot for my holidays, and there used to be a load of them washed up on the beach. Yeah. People on motorbikes used to go over them and stuff. Yeah. This so, well, we get the je the moon jellyfish. That's the ones with the they've got pink bits in the middle. Yeah, that's they're, their they're, reproductive bodies. I think that I think that was them. I think they're the ones who went over on the bike because you could yeah. see pink bits. What What do they do? If the jellyfish went, <clears throat> would Would we have a problem on our hands? Do you think? Okay. Um, you might have a bit of a knock-on effect because um, things like turtles eat. Um, jellyfish. Yeah, but do we need turtles? That's how you guys know that, isn't it? Because I remember reading comments saying, oh no, but jellyfish are pertinent because turtles eat it. Is th this was your source? <laughs> okay. Uh, well, don't forget that when you take out one, when you take out something from the marine system, mm. something normally feeds on it. I mean, they're not just there for the fun of it. Something either feeds on it or feeds on what they excrete. Um, what you're saying is they exist to sort of feed others and also to eat some stuff that's Well, yeah, they control the population of other fish and species that might otherwise be a problem. OK, well, let's, let's kind of wrap this up, right? Um, OK, now I'm curious. What fish, if it reproduces more than it should, becomes a problem? That, that I'm asking today is, do we need them? Say if, say if um, Noah, yeah, had his ark, <laughs> right? You're, you know, you've swam and got on the boat. You're all right. You're safe. He's going to keep you to sort of populate the world as well, right? So it's you and him. Uh -huh. He's not a bad-looking fella, so so you're happy. Yeah. Um, yeah. He says to you, Vicky, uh, do we need them? Absolutely. <laughs> I don't even know why she even gave you that interview. When you saw awesome. with right, yeah, trying to find out if I need you. But what did you tell her to get her to talk to you? Just, uh, just said I'm doing some research on stuff. Uh, did she think you were a schoolboy or something? No, she just, she just said, oh, "All right." She said, "You know, how long will it go on?" I said, "Not long, just like five minutes. Have a quick chat." And she was, she was loved it, didn't she? She, she was awesome. happy to take part in that. So the fact I love the fact that you've got an expert and you you suggest that she's going to be having sex with Noah. <laughs> He's going to. Not only that, he started saying, I, "I might be able to teach you something," and then he went on to say the most basic things ever. Wow, just wow. I recently watched an episode of uh, Philomena Kunk, and I feel like it was kind of like that, like the interview parts. <laughs> Very Carl. <laughs> so you're happy. She goes, yeah. I mean, I don't know why you stopped there. I didn't go into <laughs> positions or something. I, I, I can't believe.
The problem is, really, I didn't get to the bottom of what I wanted to say because. Oh no, you did. That's it. That's uh, that's done I've, now. I've that's that's a, a pretty good academic work. That's proved. You know. No, but the turtle thing, you know, when she said, "Oh, if you get rid of them, the turtles," you know, what do we need the turtles? But when she said that, I mean, I couldn't say it because it would have took her off and confused her. But well, like, she's a scientist. She's easily confused. Well, say yeah. like when, when Suzanne is working, right? I'm not a very good cook, so I always get like an Indian in. What? <laughs> to do the cooking for you? <laughs> so, right, I'll have an Indian. Right, now say if, for some reason, it closed, I'd get a Chinese. <laughs> so why, why don't the turtle just, there's loads of stuff in the sea. <laughs> but I didn't, I didn't want to get too heavy on her, but... Uh, <laughs> <It's> pretty deep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is genius. Oh but we'll God. look at... Uh, but so the fact that she said, yes, you need uh, you need jellyfish, yeah. does that mean that you've changed your... She I mean, said what absolutely. Does her answer go? Does that stand? Yeah, it does, yeah. It does, does it? It does, yeah. Whatever the, I, I get the expert to say, I try and get them in a corner. Right, you try and <laughs> yeah, argue yeah. them into a corner. Argue them into a corner, but that time she wasn't having any of it, so we've got to carry on having them. Yeah. So in, we have... in, in the new year, we'll be looking at octopus. Okay. okay. Yeah? <laughs> have to carry on having them as if they w as if she would have said no honestly they're useless which she never will but whatever um there was any chance to just wipe them out what yeah great Brilliant. Brilliant. place to feed her <laughs> christmas i think there's often... carl with his victoria plum i want to see a victoria plum i want to know what it is is it, is it does it look like a little gnome it's it's a it's a woman gnome a female gnome, yeah. a little gnome, well, and yeah. um, and uh, did your mum collect gnomes? She likes anything gnomes. She likes fairies. She likes. Uh, she should have liked the Victoria Plum. Indians. Then. She collects all that stuff, yeah, and it doesn't matter what she it is. <laughs> what do you mean? You know, like a proper Indian with all the ad gear on. Oh, a native American. Yeah, yeah. She likes anything with them on. Like you know, it can be a fridge magnet. <laughs> it can be. Uh, yeah. Just, just a lot of point. Native American wisdom is is around the fridge magnet because they yeah. think it has special powers of adhesion. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I, that's, you read some of their their, their <laughs> the writings, works, yeah. the great works. Um, now uh, <laughs> it reminds me. Talking of gnomes, um, he said to me in the week. He went, "Oh, did you see that program on telly last night about dwarves and fellas without legs nicking cars?" And I went, no. What? He went, oh, it's amazing, right? Because they haven't got legs and that. They scoot along and they can nip into a car like the Dukes of Hazard. <laughs> <laughs> Explain more, Carl. No, you see, I didn't see it. Someone else told me about it. Oh! That's what I said wow. to you. I said, did you see it? Because I missed it. And it's about these, <laughs> these little fellas um, who uh, specialise in car nicking. <laughs> and the thing I wanted to know is, because this lad who sort of watched it, only watched half of it. Is he like said, you? Well, I said, I can understand how it's easy to get in, but then how do you get away? Because you can't reach the pedals. Yeah. Can there be two of them? But presumably he opens yeah, the car for someone no good, else. is it? What do you mean? What, so he's steering and he's like, right, press the brake a bit. And then there's, then there's one that's just legs, but without the top half. I don't understand <laughs> how this helps them, though. What are they, what, why are they, why does this make it easier for them to because steal Because they cars? can just get through the window really quickly, like in the Dukes of Hazard. What? <laughs> Because their legs don't get in the way. Right. Do they just run? And just... But what do you mean, we? the wind... I mean, what? So someone's driving along... No, I didn't see it. And this is why <laughs> I didn't see it. Do they leap in when there's someone still driving the car? I love how they're quizzing him anyway. This is amazing. I don't know. Well, there's too many things left unanswered here. I well, can't go over someone's seen it and they can there. email in. But that sort of... This panicked you anyway, I imagine. I bet you were gutted you missed that program, weren't you? Well, I would have, I'm interested in stuff like that because I like learning, which gets us on to educating Ricky. Oh, excellent, slick! Uh, we've Go had, a, had a good year of stuff. Teaching we have. Stuff. Well, yeah, I've uh, learned a lot. Can you remember any of that? Of course, highlights? I can. There was a deaf girl, and she hit her head, and she could hear. Yeah. Um, there was also um, some people who ate tomato sort of poisons on lead. That's exactly there what I had in my a head. Fella sure. who, a doctor who gave a blood transfusion um, with some parrots from the pet store. Yeah. Yep. Um, because, uh, the doctor in America, and it was the olden days, when the lines were bad, said, give him his parents' blood, and the doctor this side thought said, give him some parrots' blood. So that was true, <laughs> and that educated me. That was fact. What have you there got you for go. us? Well, we've only got two, because I've taught you about jellyfish today, that <laughs> yep. we need them, so we've only got two, two things to go at, and the, uh, I love the give them a little headline so you remember them, to make them snappy. Mm -hmm. uh, Are they the Christmas themed? the two headlines you've got, 
Oh, what a catastrophe. <laughs> okay. Um, oh. and the second and it's one Christmas. is, well, you'd think it'd be Bughead, wouldn't you? <laughs> what? Well, you'd think it'd be Bughead, wouldn't you? You'd think it beat... No, you'd think it'd be... Yeah. You'd think it'd be Bughead, wouldn't you? Bughead. Bughead. Bug this can't be... If this is anything with a, a mm. bugling without a head, I'm not interested. Because we've done it. All you've right, done is well, let's, let's just do uh, what a cat has. So is that. Is what, well, do that one first. One. Which one? Which one are we no, doing? No, do the bughead one. Right, well, the bug, <laughs> the bughead one. Uh, well, I love his little laugh. We've talked a lot about animals and that, haven't we, without heads? <laughs> <laughs> no, Surprisingly, we have. We have. It has been a recurring theme. <laughs> if you're a new listener this is the first time you've listened, you'd be surprised. Yeah. Yeah, we've done all that. We've, done, we've covered uh, worms, the way if you cut their head off it grows back if you don't <laughs> cut too, too high above its neck. <laughs> <laughs> I never the thought of a worm having an act. Um, the fella who blinked. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I can't go that into was good. it again. Right. The fella who bl Oh, 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 okay, okay. Let's okay. not go into it again. Ah! We've had um, the chicken with no head that lived yeah. for eight months. Mike. Yep. And we've had and we've cockroaches. Had the cockroaches living for a week without an egg. Right, no. okay. Well, it's it's okay. a bit more on the, on the cockroach front, really. Right. Um, they found, right, that if you get a cockroach yeah. and you cut its head off, yeah. Right. Yep. And then you find a cockroach that's still got its head, but it hasn't got any legs. Right. Right. It's not over for both of them. You right? stack them. Because what you can do, you get the one that's got the legs. Right. With no head, yep. sort of running around. Get the one with the head. Uh -huh. Sit it on top of it. Right. Get a little tube. <laughs> okay. So that the fluid. So is this is this aunt is go out of the Let room? This is like Blue Peter. Let him you can get you can get this for Christmas. Right, you yeah. get a little tube. You sit that on top, so the bodily fluids are still running between the two. Right. The head of the one on the top will yeah. control the feet of the one on the bottom. Okay. What about that? So you Good. stack them. And uh, will it continue to live? Um, that well, head is not round enough. Okay, Whoever yeah, made that. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, you don't know that for sure, do you? <laughs> that, that was just a, that was just no, a question that the brewery wasn't expecting. That, yeah. what, what do you think of that? It's good, yeah, it's great. Yeah, just a primitive nervous system that can, yeah. Yeah. Did you, did you expect us to be more impressed and excited by that? Clearly. Well, did you fall off your chair when you read that? <laughs> <laughs> did you, off, going, did you, did you think you were going to be the Frankenstein of the insect world? Yeah. No, I just was thinking if they can do that, you know, with, with them, can with they do with humans? Because humans. Yeah. I, I also did a bit of research. Of course, on. You did. did you ever? Did you, did you come to the um, sort of conclusion that apart from the moral aspect of it, okay. that the human? I'm so curious as to what he thinks about the human centipede. And no, I've never seen that movie, but yes, I know what it's about. And God, that's disgusting. But I just kind of want to know his opinion of that. Just, you know, in true Carl fashion, what he thought. That apart from the moral aspect of it, well, that the human was probably more complicated than... Yeah, but... Do you know what I mean? Things, things move on, don't they? Do you know Modern what I mean? science, Rick. You know, I had, I had Binetone as a kid. Now they've got PlayStation 2 and the difference in ten years They have amazing. found that if, if you lose your head, a cockroach can live normally on your body, but not the other way around. Your head on it cannot control its legs because it's yeah. too complicated it's for too your brain. heavy. Uh, so, uh, it, yeah. yeah. So then, then other research, because uh, I thought if you don't learn from that, I'll give you something else for free, right? Go on. For um, free. <laughs> free. That they uh, can clone people. Uh huh. The only reason they don't do it, right? Say if like Ricky needed uh, a lung, right? They <laughs> could clone you and make you the same. <laughs> but the only reason they don't want to do it is because it, it'd be a bit horrible, wouldn't it? So and, it and, and it would ta and it would take sort of eighteen years for me to get an adult lung. And there's all kinds of mo That's a really good movie. That is a movie already. I think it's called The Island. I like that movie. I haven't seen that in forever. That's a really good one. But that it's yep. Yeah. Oral implications. Okay. Yeah. 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 I mean, yeah, you hadn't thought so, of that. So, sorry, so, because lest, lest we forget, Rick, <laughs> he ended with the only reason they don't do it is because it's a bit horrible in that. <laughs> <laughs> I love these little ickle toonies. Which scientist said that? <laughs> right, that's, that's, that's a that quote. Then. Right. Well, that one was for free, so you can't complain. <laughs> no, 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 no. That was that was just you know. We've got a to come. Oh, yeah. I can't wait. The headline again. What was the headline? The again? headline. Oh, what a 
cat toe strophy. Looking forward to that. There you go. Yeah, a bit more counsel. Mm. This is from his, um, cover his album. This is called Snowbird. <laughs> He's so happy that the XMM listeners understand his stupid clues. And he knows it annoys me. We've well, got some right I didn't get any of them. Just quickly, just in case, uh... Someone sort of missed one of them. I'll just quickly do them. Yeah. Yeah. Go on. First one. There's a load sure of letters. Show. <laughs> there's a load of letters there asking for advice. Put them on Claire's desk. Oh, and Merry Christmas. Uh, ask your mum if you should. Oh, and Merry Christmas. And, uh, a couple of people were arguing in the supermarket. <laughs> it was Christmas. And that's why. Counter. And that's B. Okay, we'll give those answers out shortly. Yeah. I just have to show you something, Rick, before we move on. I know we've got another uh, educating Ricky, but uh, someone just sent this in. Yeah. They've been looking on eBay yeah. for Victoria Plum. You're joking. Come here and see the photograph. Oh, God. Oh, that's people are so sweet. Let's have a look. That's it. Oh, God, he got that for his mum. It's the worst piece of tat I've ever oh, seen. Oh, Carl. They're so mean. Oh, Carl. Imagine how. Oh, no. God. Imagine how. Look, think of him now, right? Look, there it is. <laughs> That's the worst thing I've ever seen. I tell you, it looks like a Diddy man gone wrong. It's it looks like a Diddy man prostitute. Oh my god! I don't know what a Diddy man is, but the bottom things look better. But the cute part is, even if it's not amazing looking, right? It's the fact that the thought he put into it, because he knows what his mom liked, he knows what kind of stuff she's into. He thought she'd relate to that. That's the sweet part. Not the, the thing itself. I mean, it's like if somebody gets you a shirt of a band you really used to like or whatever, and it's something that, like, it's sweet that they know you. Maybe the shirt is, like, ten sizes too big and they thought you were fat and that part's insulting, but at least they know you like the band, right? I mean, it's there's something. There's, there's, there's effort there. <laughs> That is... That's a, is that the one color? Well, that, well, it was a different color. It had a yellow app, mine. <laughs> no, but look. How do they get... Tell them they okay, get so, um, going to eBay. I absolutely so love to, that a fan uh, sent that in. So you need to log on to eBay.co.uk. I'm sure you've used it before. It's the uh, online marketplace. E-B-A-Y.co.uk. And if you type in Victoria Plum, I'm assuming that you can <laughs> drop yeah. his yeah. stats. Wow, is that the now? Okay. Oh, just I've think how seen. cute he was as a kid, though, doing that. Just think of him. Just going... <laughs> just that was, just, just seeing morning. that and thinking, oh, like, she likes gnomes! <laughs> it's it's adorable! I've ever seen. I mean, to be fair, I mean, I don't know what her prize collection of gnomes looks like, but I can't imagine they're much better than that. I mean, gnomes are a fairly oh. grotesque thing. There you go. But oh. certainly, your mum's taste and discretion is, is. Did you have any? Did you ever those houses on your estate? You'd go in there, and it was just loads of those dolls still in their packaging all around the room, and sort of like one of those homes that keeps the uh, sort of packaging on the three-piece suite. Why don't you buy another one for her for Christmas? Yeah, because... it's three ninety-nine. It looks like that's, that's two pounds <laughs> forty-nine. Because that was $399. What do you say? It's 49 Because that was $399. What? Because that was $399. I don't know what he said. Well. Mm. Oh, buy it, Carl. Because no, I've got her, I've sorted out her passport this year anyway. I'll get her that next year. Right. <laughs> so listen, right. right? Okay. So, last educating Ricky of the year. Oh, Christ. Um, what a cat toast. Yeah, let's do that then. Victoria right. Plum. There's this woman, right? <laughs> yeah. This woman, I love she's when reading, they're giggling uh, to Guinness themselves. Book of Records. Yeah. And um, <clears throat> she she's flicking through, yeah. and she notices that there's a world record for a cat, right, with uh, 27 uh, toes. Right? <laughs> so oh she reads it and she thinks, well, that's not right, because her cat's got 28. <laughs> What do you mean your cat's got 28? Her, cat, her, her cat's got 28 toes. Wow. That's actually really cute. So she was like, well, hang on a minute. Mine should be in there. So there was oh, like... I missed the very beginning. Of I... <laughs> you dumbass. I didn't know there were... What, what is it? Polydactyl? I didn't know there were polydactyl cats, but I do know that there's some cats that kind of have, like, thumbs, like the... The thummy toe is kind of, like, separate. It just looks so cute because it looks like they have little mittens. I love it. But, um, oh, they must leave the cutest little paw prints. I love it. So she was like, well, hang on a minute. Mine should be in there. So there was oh, like... I missed the very beginning of this. 
She, she was... She, 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 she's looking for the Guinness Book of Records. Oh, she's the, the old the record. woman. A yeah. woman was yeah. looking for the Guinness Book of Records. The woman with the cat with 28 toes was looking right. through, and it said the record for uh, the cat's toes was 27. She thought, hold on. <laughs> hold on a minute, Ross McWhirter. <laughs> <laughs> My cat's got one more than that cat, so go on. Um, anyway, so she said, uh, you know, the person doing the interview with her said, you know, is it happy? And uh, she said, yeah, yeah, you know, she, it, it's great, and it, it's, it's really good in the snow. Right. It gets through a lot of nail varnish. Well, you know, that's, that's what it said, right? It said it's really good in the snow. So, I just was thinking, uh, I mean, that's it, really. That's, that's not of, it. That's the end of that story. But Brilliant. What but what I'm thinking is, right... It was she, two cats welded together. No, she, she said, uh, you know, it's happy. So, is the other sort of disabilities where, in a way, it's not all bad? Oh, Christ. <laughs> <laughs> no, do you know, like, that book Steve brought in for me? And yeah. there was a fella there, wasn't there, who had three legs, who was a juggler. <laughs> Very famous like, what's guy. What's the point of that? <laughs> what do you mean, what's the point of that? What's the point well, of he's what? he's not taking advantage of having three legs, is he, being a juggler? <laughs> yeah, he said he should be a footballer. Right? So... <laughs> but, <laughs> no, but in a way, he's used it, hasn't he? He's probably not even that good at juggling. But because Wasn't he in the legs, circus? People have gone, well, I'll give him a chance. Let's go and see him anyway, see if he's any good. Yeah. Right? So, what I'm thinking is, is he anything else? We've mentioned, uh... The, the midgets today who are good at robbing cars because uh-huh. they can get through the windows like Dukes of Hazzard. Sorry, sorry, so listen, listen, I, I, look, um, I'd just like to say, this is the Radio Authority listening, we are in no way suggesting that one uh, midget's forte in life is robbing cars no, or no, that no, if no, you're no. a midget sitting at home feeling sorry, I think you should go out robbing cars. I'd no. just like to say, this is oh. Carl Pilkington talking. No, the no, views no. of Carl Pilkington do not necessarily reflect <laughs> those of XFM <laughs> or us. Yeah. Okay, a TV good to program, know. So it's not me, I'm just saying what I've seen on TV. But you didn't see. You didn't see it, right. That somebody saw me about. <laughs> yeah, so you could be wrong, just like a lot of your spurious facts no. that you just see on the internet. I've seen, there's a little cat going around the internet and, um... Usually when those cats have extra stuff, it's it's basically, he said two cats welded together, ah, basically they fuse together in the womb and then there's just, uh, whatever. But there's the cat going around, he has four ears, it's cute, it's really cute because he has two big ones and then like two little smaller ones closer, ah, it's really cute. It just makes him that much more lovable. You know, I'm just saying. Yeah. So, is there anything else? We've seen the fellow with three legs. So what you're saying is, is there a disability that is actually an advantage? Yeah. Right, I mean, okay. Steve mentioned about the disabled Lou. They're always really roomy and, like, got multi-gym facilities <laughs> in them. <laughs> multi-gym facilities! No, do you know multi-gym what I mean? facilities! What do you mean, Carl? There's always bars everywhere and that, isn't there? That's not parallel bars. Yeah, they the don't do gymnastics! <laughs> they're what? not in yeah, working yeah, out. I'm just, I'm just saying, though, do you know what I mean? So, in a way, they've, they've got that... So, always, what I'm saying is, when you look on the brighter side, it's like <laughs> Elephant Man would have never got up and gone, oh, look at me hair today. <laughs> <laughs> Nor do you. No, but, do you know what I mean? <laughs> He, he, he would never have that problem. You're a maniac. Forget it. Yes, no, you are. Forget it. it. <laughs> serious discussion going on here. Well, okay then. So, this is a serious discussion, is it? Yeah. Okay, well, let, let's treat it sensitively then. If you really want a serious discussion and talk about whether there are some disabilities that are an advantage, let, let, let's, 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 let's think of some then, shall we? Well, I've, I've said three already. Yeah, you can't say, um, uh, uh if you're Wheelchair deaf, um, users uh, get... Bobby Davro won't annoy you. Roomy that best. doesn't count as an advantage. Do you understand? Do you know what I mean? No, he Carl's does not. looking at you thinking, that's brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, we'll leave it then. I'll come up with a better feature for next year. Oh. We'll, we'll bin that, we'll bin that. <laughs> oh, so, God. So you've got any disabilities. We've been that like that was going to be a feature. <laughs> what, you were hoping that that would be a spin-off feature? Disabilities well, are actually well, it's an advantage. another form of, do we need them? It's like, But that's, Carl, think of it, it's like, the, it's like that joke. A bloke that, as he wakes up in hospital, he says, good news and bad news. Bad news is we've had to amputate both legs. What's the good news? The fellow in the next bed wants to buy you slippers. See, that's not an advantage. Mm. What? I didn't follow any of that. He spoke so the, fast and mumbly. As he wakes up in hospital, he says, good news and bad news. Oh, but but that's, Carl, think of it, it's like, the, it's like that joke. A bloke that, as he wakes up in hospital, he says, good news and bad news. Bad news is we've had to amputate both legs. What's the good news? The fellow in the next bed wants to buy you slippers. See, that's not an advantage. Mm. It's mm. a joke. That doesn't really happen. People don't go, oh, that is good news. <laughs> yeah, I'll probably get a quid from him. <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. But the fellow with three feet, what would he do? 
Well, he'd buy a pair and then just nick a one pair of those because they put out one shoe, don't they? Are those, um, yeah, if you've got one leg, you can nick shoes. Mm. Good point, right, Carl. Now, now I'm getting you thinking. Yeah. Right, so we'll do Rockbusters answers next then. There you Happy go. Happy Christmas, war's over and all that. Indeed. Yeah. Brilliant. Okay. I, I, I was trying to think if I can come up with anything, right? <clears throat> and the only thing I came up with was, but it's not a disability. I was gonna say per se, it's not actually a disability. But there are um, some people. Okay, let me tell you where I got this from. A friend of my dad's years ago was getting older, as people do, and he looked amazing. The guy was fantastic, very slim, very healthy looking. His skin was great, barely any wrinkles, barely anything. The guy looked way younger than he actually was, right? And everybody's always going on about, like, what's your secret? What's your secret? And he had, like, very severe stomach and digestive issues. So he had a very, very, very strict diet. There was only, like, three or four things he could eat, right? He's like, that, which sucked, but it's also a blessing because I had to literally watch everything I ate, and this is the result. Like, you know, he look, he aged fantastically because food definitely, most definitely, affects everything. And um, the guy was like... I mean, I, I hated having this issue. I don't remember what the thing was called, but I hated having this issue for so many years. And then I realized, like, I can't gain weight. I can't, like, I'm not getting old. I'm doing great, man. So, and since he was just, like, really healthy, the guy was really nimble and just went. And he was very flexible and just active and stuff. So he, he kind of just, like, flipped it to the positive side. And was like, thanks to that, I am this. That's all I got, though. I got nothing else because I couldn't just, it's the, it's bonkers and it's ludicrous, but that's something, right? I mean, something. Brilliant tune. Great tune. And well, well, I've, I've had a great time. I've had a great time. Uh, Merry Christmas, everybody. I hope we haven't offended you by some of Carl's rantings. Just think, just, just think of what he's gone through in his life. No, right. Victoria Plum incident. Carl, I've got a little gift for you here before we go. Oh, he's the train incident. You well, no, I don't, you haven't got your girlfriend anything. I wasn't expecting much. <laughs> it's not, it's not uh, exciting, but it's worth taking. In fact, you could, why don't you just re-gift that straight away? It's all right. Cheers for that. Cha yeah. It doesn't even look at it. It's champagne, champagne, yeah. champagne, champagne. And that's not the champagne we got free from the BBC, is it? It's not actually, no, Rick, because um, that is far too good for the likes of Carl. <laughs> oh, right, <laughs> man, that wasn't good. So you wouldn't appreciate it. That's just sparkling wine. Oh, but, oh, I love that. Yeah, he won't. He doesn't know the difference. Um, um, I'm seeing Carl on Christmas Day because uh, he's around Christmas Day in London, so I'll, I'll, I'll get a little gift then, Carl. All right. That'd be good, wouldn't it? It'd be a nice little. Okay, answers. We must give the answers. You would have to go to bed yes. at six, though, so right. we can play. <laughs> <laughs> Right, here's the last clues of the year. You had, uh, there's a load of letters there asking for advice. Put them on Claire's desk. Go that on, was no F. Idea. That was for Foreigner. For Rainer. I don't know what you mean. Claire Rainer. She took advice. She gave people advice. So that's what. I knew it was. Imp well, okay, I knew you clarified for a reason Claire's last name, but I thought it was just because it wasn't Claire Stur Sturgis. The Claire that fills in. But. That was specific. For a runner. For oh, a that is shit. Right. I'm that sorry. That was bad, that yeah. Christmas, that is Did anybody get that? Far. A lot of people got the right answer. I know. Did they? It annoys right, me well, even more. The two. second one, ask your mum. Foreigner. Yeah. Foreigner. Um, second one, ask your mum if you should. That was S. That was Shalimar. 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 Right? No, bizarrely, what was the clue there? Ask your mum if you should. Now, we've got a lot of people saying Smashing Pumpkins. Shall is the answer I to that. Mom. I don't know who's saying that today, mum. Smashing Pumpkins. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas, mum. Smashing Thanks Pumpkins. Thanks very much. Nice bollocks. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> right. Merry Christmas. Oh, that's great. <laughs> that's great. Right. Smashing Pumpkins. <laughs> Your dad you know what's it. fantastic? When a lot of people get the same conclusion and they have no idea how they got it. Like, that happened when I did my little ones. I think it was Def Leppard. Yeah, Def Leppard. Everybody was like, is it, is it Def Leppard? No. Also, the clue is S. It'd be SP. For Christmas. <laughs> yeah. uh, and the last one. Uh, Never heard of that band before. <laughs> <laughs> what might be Victoria's? Oh, God. 
We've got to wrap oh, it up. We've got to wrap it up. Come on, then. Uh, a couple of people were arguing in the supermarket at the fruit and veg counter. <laughs> that was B. That was banana drama. We were, like, having an argument. Banana, banana drama. drama. I swear I knew banana was involved somehow. I just, I didn't know how. Banana drama. He just added the D for shits and giggles because that's not. What, no, wait, 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 wait. What group is banana drama? What group is banana Whoa. drama? Whoa. <laughs> You're a fool. You're a. Calm well, down. You, say that, but you accuse her. You accuse Carl of that. You're also accusing lots of the listeners, including the winner, yeah. Nicola Rogers uh, of London. And she wins those great prizes and she got them bang on. So Banana so drama. Nicola so, is. Can we finish that now? Name? Yeah. Yeah, what do you mean? It. What do you mean? Can we finish there now? Just, just play the ads and go. I thought that'd be a guy. What? No, we're, what are you talking about? We're going to play Jamie Mitchell. We're going to play that then. Goodness, we can't. Oh, look at you. Oh, we haven't got time. Merry Christmas, Carl. Come Merry Christmas, Carl. Enjoy the just show. Give the, let's give him a little kiss. Uh, <laughs> oh, look, good times. Good times. Good times. It's Christmas. <laughs> Why do they constantly want to kiss him? <laughs> Get off! <laughs> oh, that was great! What a fun episode! That was awesome. That was really fun. Just so many things. So many topics. We even got... Okay, do we need them? Ricky, educated Ricky is really just freaking... I think it hit rock bottom. <laughs> Because it just got worse. It just plummeted real bad. I don't I I wonder if that continues because wow. <laughs> but um fun stuff. That was amazing. Okay. Once again, thank you, Mr. Rusty Dog. Beautiful stuff. Absolutely just very, very grateful. All the effort. And look at look how cute even even the little low it, it's all adorable. I love the effort. It's amazing. But, um, just Carl, Carl, I feel like he reached a new level today <laughs> of absolute ridiculousness. And I love it. I'm definitely here for it. Lovely humans. Merry Christmas, apparently. On what, October? What is this going to be? Like October 5th, something like that? 4th? I don't know. But, eh, why not? We're here. Merry Christmas, people. Lovely humans. I am off. Thank you for watching. Very much enjoyed. See you soon.